So as you guys can see, just came back from the estate sale and got a whole bunch of goodies here. Let's kind of go through all the stuff one by one so you can see what we got today, all right? We decided to go to this estate sale and man, we found a lot of stuff. To give you a little background on the person who was living at this home, um, he was an ex-pilot who was also a watchmaker. One whole room was just uh, his like watch stuff. So it was a lot of watchmaking things, microscopes, crystals, stuff like that, things that I didn't know about. And then the rest of the house was just kind of filled with just random stuff, um, things from his travels and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. A lot of a variety of things, um, some new things, some old things. So we went in and I went a little crazy. I, I didn't spend a lot of money. All the stuff that you've seen on the table uh, as I was loading it on, all of that stuff I bought for $27, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we got. I'm gonna kind of go one by one and you can kind of see the value um, that you can get at some of these estate sales and just, an idea of some of the stuff that they actually have. All right, so uh, where should we start? Where should we start? Well, let's start with this flag here. So item number one is a flag kit. Um, it's a zinc plated steel pole. Uh, so this is a little more of an older style flag. I do have an American flag in front of my house. Everybody who lives in the United States should have an American flag in front of their house. Be patriotic. Um, so this came with the one pole and you can see the flag that's in here is an older flag. Oh, it even smells old. It smells like dust. <laughs> the newer flags, a lot of them are made in China and they're made really cheap. Um, the quality of this feels really nice. Um, the pole is really nice. Got the little end uh, thing here. I want to say we paid a dollar for this thing. <laughs> yeah. If you were to try to go and buy a brand new fly kit, it'd probably run you around 15 to $20 at Walmart or Home Depot. So it's kind of cool. We were able to get a, a new flag replacement and it's also an old one, so double whammy. So we got a good deal on a replacement flag and it's a vintage flag. All right, so next we have, uh, we found this in the garage of the home. This is the uh, two gallon Coleman Snow Light Jug. This was actually made, uh, according to the tag is still on the box here. And uh, it was manufactured it was delivered to the shop in 77 uh, in Santa Fe, New Mexico via Sparks. So it went from Nevada to New Mexico and now back to Nevada. It's got the signature green Coleman color with the red label there, which is nice. Uh, one thing I like about this is actually there's a built-in cap. So you take the cap off, there's a little cup inside. So you have your cup, fill your water, drink your, <laughs> drink your water like that. Ooh, pour your water in, then you're good to go. It's great for camping, um, keep your stuff cool, which is really nice. Um, I paid a dollar, uh, two dollars for this. This is pretty much brand new. There's very, there's very few scratches on here, and it came with a vintage box. Let's see what else? Oh, it also came with this uh, handy dandy ordering guide. So if you want to order, uh, you know, replace, uh, I guess the whole set. Also has your limited one year warranty. Of course, this was uh, over 30 years ago, so the warranty is probably void now. All right, so that was the Coleman cooler. Okay, so next up, let's see what's next. All right, so here we go. Ah, all right. This is a cool little carrying case. Inside this case is da 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 da. A bunch of eight tracks. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what the heck is an eight track? They used to have vinyl records. And then after vinyl records, I believe they came out with eight tracks. And then eight tracks, they went to cassettes, cassettes to CDs, CDs to MP3s. So it's kind of the evolution of music. These eight tracks, they're pretty much what it is. There's eight songs on each tape. Um, and they're pretty old. They don't really make a lot of 8-track players anymore. The reason why I bought these 8-tracks is I actually have an old Lincoln that has a 8-track player in it. So I have a, now I have a whole new uh, collection of tunes when I go cruising uh, this fall in the classic car. We're gonna throw on some of this music and uh, yeah, we're having a good time. Just check just a couple of the tapes and figure it ah, out, screw it, let's just get it. For the case and all the tapes, this was uh, $1. <laughs> oh, it's an amazing deal. Most 8-track tapes, when you go to like the swap meet or thrift shops, they get you about four or five bucks for each tape because they know people are starting to buy these now. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, 12, 24 tapes plus the case for $1, awesome deal. Uh, so yeah, so let's see uh, some of the ones we got here. We got, uh, let's see, that's a salute to Merle Haggard, now and then. Country pop hits of the 70s. 
softly, Jackie Gleason. I guess Jackie Gleason was a comedian, but I guess maybe he made music? He sings Moon River, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World, Softly As I Leave, The Girl from Ipanina. This is <laughs> Jackie Gleason singing lounge hits. This is pretty awesome. I'm going to definitely play that one. The rest of the tapes in here, um, most of them are recordings that he made himself. So a lot of them are kind of written on. Only Love Can Break a Heart. Oh, babe, what would you say? What the world needs now is love. Love for sale, for the good times. So, you know, a lot of love music, a lot of songs of love. And as speaking of, here's one right here. Songs of love. Look at that. Nat King Cole, Wayne Newton, Dean Martin, Peggy Lee, Jackie Gleason. Uh, you know, just a bunch of the old timers. Um, romantic music, music like they don't make anymore. So I'm excited to pop in these tapes and uh, give them a listen. <laughs> All right, it's got this brass top, brass uh, trim here. Um, this is wood. The bottom of the base is metal. Um, and then it has this long uh, chain thing so that you can hang it. All right, it's got two lighting features. It has a top portion here, which has these cool candles that have this full flame effect, which is really neat. Um, there's also a knob on the back here, so you can kind of dim them if you want to lower the flames. Or if you want to raise the flames, pretty cool. It's a double light. It's got light on the bottom. This would be a great piece to hang somewhere over, I don't know, maybe an entryway or in a man cave. I just, I don't know, I was instantly attracted to this thing. It's just the mixture of all the different materials and the way it's put together. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this before. This piece here had has all of these, uh, has these glass inserts which are really cool. Uh, these glass inserts actually come off, so you can remove them. One of them is has has a crack in it over here, um, so you know, not too bad. It's a little dusty still, but overall, pretty cool. You can also turn the light, the bottom lights off separately, so if you just wanna have the candles. I don't really know the retail price of this, uh, but I only paid $5 for it, which is really cool, seeing as it was all intact, and it has the two lighting features, is really cool for five bucks. I'm gonna try to find a place to hang it. I may have to sell it, or it may sit in my attic and collect some more dust till I find a place to hang it. You could not go to a store and buy this for $5, let alone even find it, so $5, all day. Uh, we are up in one of the bedrooms. It was full of boxes, just random boxes, and we had to dig through them. Um, one of the uh, people in charge of the estate sale came in and asked if we needed any help. So I asked him, uh, you know, what the price of some of these items were. And uh, he told me, I'll tell you what, grab a box, fill it, bring it down, I'll make you a really good deal. You'll leave here with a big smile on your face. <laughs> so I was like, all right, put it in the pile. So uh, we, we built a pile and uh, we ended up with a lot of cool stuff. All right, so this is the box that I filled. And this box is full of goodies. Everything in here, 12 bucks. All the rest of the stuff you seen was $15. All right, so we got a couple books. This book here is a guide to high-speed mathematics. Uh, so this is one of the books we got. Uh, basically, kind of just a way for you to uh, better your knowledge of math um, and kind of figure things out properly. But, faster way to do math in your head, which is pretty cool. So high-speed mathematics, pretty neat. And then we also got this auto body repair book, um, kind of tips and tricks. It's a little more old school, kind of gives you, you know, step-by-step -step, um, how to take dents out of your car, how to sand, how to paint, you know, how to do all that good stuff, uh, which is great because it's a good skill set to have. Um, actually, the, the tools that you need to purchase to do a lot of the body work, they're really not that expensive compared to what you would pay, um, you know, if going to a body shop. And uh, some of those rates are, are outrageous. So the fact that I can maybe buy this and maybe do a little bit of body work, uh, just based off of the knowledge I can acquire from this book, pretty awesome. There's a dent in one of my bumpers. Um, that I may try to pull out and then may try to sand it down and repaint it. Who knows, you know? But uh, having something like this in paper uh, next to you is, is really good to kind of reference to uh, anytime you need it. So these are the two books we got. Um, again, this was part of our box deal. All right, next up, we have this cool Master Charge uh, bar mat 
This is a rubber rubber bar mat, kind of like you'd see at the uh, when you go to a bar right in front of uh, where the bartender is usually making their drinks. The reason why I was attracted to this uh, particular bar mat is because of the Master Charge logo. So uh, I guess Master Charge came out uh, in the 60s and they were under the Master Charge name until like somewhere in the mid 70s and then they switched over to Master Card. Pretty cool. So kind of a throwback before the name changed. It's got a little bit of uh, age on it. The other cool thing too is uh it says get your master charge at first national bank of nevada so i'm trying to get trying to see if this may have been like a promotional item that they made and maybe distributed to some of the local bars here in las vegas so that while you were paying you know you're like oh i gotta get my master charge at first national bank or is it something that maybe they had in the bank but I'm guessing since it is a bar mat that they maybe had these at bars, um, you know, while you're ordering your drinks and stuff. Kind of a way to cross promote. So this is a cool little mat. Um, I see these a lot at uh, at antique stores. You know, they have a lot of the older style mats, and they go for they go for a lot of money. So the fact that I was able to get this one uh, for about 50 cents, pretty sweet. So not a bad deal on the uh, Master Charge bar mat. Next up. I uh, have this cool uh, vintage clipboard. It kind of has this uh, wood, no, it's not really wood. It's kind of like, I don't know, maybe like press board or something like that. The clasp seals closed so you can open this up. There's a little compartment. So in the compartment, you can put your papers, your pencils, whatever you need to store in there, which is pretty neat. Plastic all the way around, has uh, the metal uh, fasteners here, and then also metal on this side. Apparently this belonged to somebody named Zinc. Uh, I don't know who that is, but the fact that it's on there is pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it on there. I'm not gonna take it off. Um, Cause I feel like it kind of adds to the nostalgia of it, you know, so it's just pretty neat. Next up we have a coffee percolator. Now at the time when I put this in my pile, I didn't actually know what it was. It was sitting in a, it was sitting in a box sideways like this. And I picked it up, stirred it up like this and said, well, I don't know, that's kind of cool looking. One of the gentlemen in charge informed us that it was actually a coffee percolator. I guess what it is, is this uh, percolator goes inside your coffee pot. And I think you first supposed to fill this top portion with your coffee grounds. And then as the water boils, I guess the coffee like drips down to the pot. I don't really know exactly how this works. I think it looks cool. Um, I just like the design of it. I don't know, it's pretty neat. What am I gonna use it for? Am I gonna use it for coffee? Probably not, because I don't drink coffee. So if anything, I don't know, maybe a cool planter, put some plants in here, maybe like a little succulent garden. I don't know, probably repurpose it or something, or I don't know what to do with it, but I'm definitely not gonna use it for coffee. But overall, I just like the way it looked. You know, it's pretty cool, it's all, it's like metal construction. It's pretty neat. It just looks nice. So I decided to buy this. And again, this is part of the bin. This was probably around, I don't know, 25 cents or so. So check this little guy out. This is a vintage letter scale. I know, right? You're like, what the heck is that? So at the time, uh, Kim is the one that found this and she thought it was some type of money scale because if you actually look at this piece here, it does kind of look like a money clip. On the side here, you have uh, little numbers and you're gonna take your letter and you just put it, you put your letter like that so it balances, you just gotta find the right, there you go. And it's gonna tell you on this little gauge here how much the letter weighs, which is cool. And it goes up and down depending on how heavy the letter is. So you can weigh your letters, you're like, okay, that weighs that much. And then you go in here, you just twist this little top off like that. And then underneath here, boom, that's where you have your roll of stamps. Put your letter on the scale, weigh it, put your lick it, put your stamp on it, and send it on its way. This is something I've never seen before. I didn't even know these things existed. This one here has a felt bottom and it was uh, made in Japan. I'm always a fan of buying anything that's made in Japan because it's usually made a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, so this is a vintage letter scale. Uh, again, I got this as part of the box of goodies. So this was between 25 cents and 50 cents. And then the retail on this is around $20. So not too shabby. All right, so next up we have this vintage uh, Chinese brass bronze uh, incense burner. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's brass or bronze. Upon searching online, uh, they've called it a brass bronze incense burner, so that's what I'm going with. This one here, uh, the top comes off just like that. You place your incense right inside the bottom there, and then there, there are these holes on the side, as well as holes in the lid uh, where the smoke 
uh, can come through from. Um, on the top, it features a lot of carvings, um, which is kind of random stuff. Doesn't really look like anything in particular, uh, but there's carvings on the top, there's carvings on the sides, and then there's also uh, looks what appears to be a maker's mark on the bottom of the incense burner. I don't read Chinese, so I don't know what it says, but um, yeah, pretty cool. This is something that we're probably gonna use in the house. As far as the incense that you can burn in here, uh, I know they make those little incense cones, so that'd probably be your best bet uh, for burning incense in one of these. Uh, again, this was part of, actually this was not part of the grab, bag, uh, grab box deal. This was a separate item. I believe this was $3. Okay, next, that's pretty cool. Found this in a, in a random pile. Uh, this is actually 20, this is $150. So this is, uh, this is pretty legit. This is the real money that is shredded. I guess at the gift shop in DC, they sell you three packs of these uh, for $20. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is worth a right around $5. Uh, so $150 worth of shredded money uh, is worth actually around $5. Uh, but I was able to pick this up for 25 cents. I still don't know if I'm going to keep this or, you know, or maybe give it to somebody as like a, like a gag gift, you know, for Christmas or a birthday, you know, hey, here's 150 bucks for you, you know, <laughs> pretty shredded. So I don't know what it is, but it was a really good deal and I couldn't pass it up, something different I've actually never seen before. So that's pretty cool. Next up we have, put these like that. We have these uh, Noma, there's outdoor light clips. Uh, so these are used to hang up Christmas lights around the holidays or any other kind of lights you want to hang up in your house. Um, they feature a little spike tip that uh, that just bites right into your uh, your awning area and then you have your hook so it just hooks in. Uh, basically it says install once, never remove. So once they go in they're not coming out, uh, they're gonna last, last a lifetime. Um, so these ones here, um, I did a little bit of research on these. Uh, the packaging has changed over the years, so I'm not quite sure when these were made. Uh, it is from Thrifties. That's the price tag there. It says Thrifties, uh, 59 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and guess and say that these are probably from the 70s or the 80s, I'm guessing, only because the packaging does look kinda old based on the artwork. It looks like an earlier artwork. It doesn't look like something from like the 90s or from the 80s. It looks like something a little earlier. So maybe the 60s, maybe the 70s. Um, and then you can also tell by the old style light bulbs that it's got a little bit of age too, but um, pretty cool. But we bought these. Um, uh, Kim bought them to actually use on the house. Uh, but depending on uh, the value of these, we may keep them to actually use them or we may try to resell them to someone who actually collects, you know, like vintage Christmas stuff. So uh, yeah, so the three packs, so we paid 50 cents, uh, has a value of around $15, so pretty cool. So if you remember me telling you this guy was a pilot, uh, obviously you fly with the sun and stuff and make it pretty glary out there. So these are actually sun tamers. Uh, what these are is they're like static, they're like window clings. So you just uh, like stick them to the inside of your window and they basically shade you out from the sun. Go away, son. Um, but the cool thing about this is it's adjustable, so you can stick it anywhere you want on any kind of glass surface. So if you're in your car, and then you wanna pull it off, and then go in your airplane, and then pull it off, and then go in whatever other car you have, you can use these in multiple places because they are easily removable. The Sun Tamer brand, uh, it still does exist. They don't make these particular ones anymore. I guess they make uh, like the full window size ones and window tint and stuff like that. Uh, so the other cool thing about these is they're especially made for the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, the AOPA. Uh, so these are printed specifically for them. Um, I assume they maybe gave these to you for free when you signed up um, for the association. Kind of like a welcome gift, you know? Like, here you go, here's a welcome gift for joining the association. But I got the three of these. Um, I figured I'm gonna maybe use them in my car or because of the uh, AOPA logo printed there, we might try to sell them online. Maybe someone who's part of the AOPA may want this, um, you know, for nostalgic reasons or maybe actually to you. 
who knows but uh, again we had the sun tamers um, online similar static clean window shades are around five dollars a piece so for the three fifteen dollars again we paid about 50 cents for all three of these so pretty good deal on those one of my favorite items from the day is the Dymo 1570 label maker. It's the old school style label maker, uh, meaning you turn, the, there's a little notch here, so you turn where you wanna go, push down, and it prints it right into the thing for you, which is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little stamp for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So we'll say uh, H, E, Where's L? Oh, backwards. L, L, O. All right. And then one space. There's a little bottom piece here. You push that and it cuts it. Boom. Look at that. Oh, I cut it, I cut it off too soon. Well, you can see I was trying to make it say hello, uh, but it says I hello, because I guess I put an I first. But anyways, uh, it makes these cool labels and then you can stick it anywhere you want. We'll Stick it right there. Boom, label. So now you know that's the label maker. You label it, hello, that's I hello. I hell, I hell see. It's not quite a O. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is a old school label maker. So um, since then they've, uh, now I think they believe they're like all plastic construction. But this is pretty cool because it is metal, uh, which is nice. Kind of has that uh, like chrome finish, which is really cool. Um, and just overall a really nice uh, looking label maker. Just really, really nice. Fits in your hand really well, which is really cool. It's got a little tape dispenser here. There's not a lot in here. Enough to make a few labels just to test it out. Uh, luckily for me, they still do make this, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, this the label roll. They still make the label roll material uh, like on Amazon and places like that. So this is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, I got this for $1. This is worth about $10, uh, 10 to $15. Uh, depending on where you're buying it at. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna sell this. I've never seen one like this before, so pretty cool. So that's the uh, Dymo 1570 label maker. Pretty neat. Okay, so I also got these uh, bird pictures. So these bird pictures are pretty cool. These are from Mexico. Um, they have a wood frame all the way around. Looks like just a black, uh, maybe like a, a little thicker than like construction papers, kind of like um, like cardboard type, like a card, really thick cardstock. Um, and then right here, you can see the details as far as it's hand painted. And then uh, the bird is also painted. But the cool thing about these is they actually use feathers um, on the bird, so it kind of gives you um, you know a little bit of paint, a little bit of feather, like mixed use uh, kind of deal, which is pretty neat. You can see some of these are really nice. I don't know the names for all of these birds, but they're beautiful. You can see the color in them is just amazing. This is one of my favorite ones. This is the peacock. And you can see those beautiful colors um, all the way down the tail, um, all the beautiful colors in the body part which is really nice. These are from Mexico. On the back, it has the stamp that says they were made in Mexico. I don't know how old these are. I don't know if there's something recent for Mexico, or if there's something that's a little older for Mexico. Based on some of the research that I have done, some of the larger prints, not this small, but some of the larger ones go from anywhere from 20 to $60. Some of them are a little more depending on how intricate they are. But these little ones here, I was able to get all eight of these for $2. Um, so, I mean, even if uh, I decide to sell these, which I probably won't, I think I'm gonna make some kind of collage and maybe in one of the bathrooms, which will look kind of nice. You know, going to the bathroom, looking at birds, you know, pretty chill, pretty relaxing. Um, or I might sell them. Um, if I do decide to sell them, I'll probably do the set of eight for $20, uh, which I think is a good deal. Some cool artwork that I myself have never seen before um, for two bucks, not bad. Okay, next item up, we have the, uh, I don't know how you say this, I think it's uh, Dietzgen, 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 Dietzgen. I think it's German. Uh, this is a Architects uh, 12 inch triangular scale. It's basically a ruler, um, but it's got all the different sides that you're gonna need if you're an architect. Uh, to drop any floor plans or anything like that, which is pretty cool. I only know about these rulers because in high school I was in uh, Architectural 1-2, 
which we learned how to draw floor plans and stuff like that for houses. And we use these rulers quite a bit actually. When I seen this, I kind of got excited because it kind of reminded me of uh, those days in high school, drawing floor plans, which was really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a really good quality uh, scale. Um, again, we bought this as part of the bundle deal. So this is around 25 to 50 cents. Uh, retail price on this anywhere from uh, 10 to $20, depending on the size and the particular model of the uh, scale. So that's the uh, Deitzgen 1656 architectural 12 inch triangular scale. Two more items left in the box. This one here, uh, pretty cool. Uh, I didn't know what this was. Uh, it was in the package when I got it. This one caught me a little bit different because it has a regular clip, right? But on the back of this, it has a little rubber strap, which is pretty weird. So what I discovered is this is actually a pilot's clipboard. So what you do is this strap on the back here would actually strap to your leg on top of your thigh. So while you're flying your plane, let me show you real quick. So this goes like this. Yeah. So now you can write your notes put your papers, do whatever you need to do if you're a pilot. Um, and this is pretty cool. So yeah, pilot's clipboard. I've never seen one of these before, um, but the fact that it clips onto your leg is pretty awesome. Um, it's, it's a kind of a uh, really cool design because uh, things you don't think about, but I guess if you're a pilot, yeah, you don't really have your hands free uh, if you're flying the plane, right? Uh, this is made in Korea. Like I said, I believe it's aluminum. And the uh, price on this, uh, the new ones are around $20. Paid around uh, 25 to 50 cents uh, for this clipboard. Pretty good deal. And last, but definitely not least, we have the Clairol Kindness Instant Hair Setter. This was not part of the box of goodies. This was in the box, but I just put it in the box. This was actually found in the garage. Uh, it was in one of the corners, just kind of sitting there on the floor. Um, I didn't know what it was, but I liked the way the box looked. I seen the box from the top and I was like, whatever is in there has got to be cool because it's it's got a really cool vintage look to it. So if you open this up, boom, it's actually a hot roller set. So you plug this in. Um, underneath here, there's uh, these metal these metal rods that heat up super fast. Now, I don't know if it's just, uh, you know how like back in the day stuff was like more, da more dangerous because there wasn't like as many restrictions and regulations. But dude, this thing, I plugged it in and like within maybe like 10 seconds, these things were super hot. Like I couldn't even touch these rolls. It was wild. So I was like, man, they must use a really hardcore heating element in here uh, to get this thing going. But anyways, uh, it comes with two sets of rollers. Um, the set on this side is the set, the side that actually gets warm, uh, the side with the gold part because it does sit on these metal rods here. Uh, the other side over here, uh, the, they're just sitting on plastic rods. So that's just kind of holders. So basically you heat this side up, put them in your hair, load up the second side, and then load those in your hair uh, to get your curling going. It's got a little compartment here for the cable. And this one actually came with the original uh, clips. These are the Claro Kindness Instant Hair Setter U-Clips. And uh, according to the package, it says 1967. So I'm assuming that that's when this particular um, set of curlers was manufactured, 1967. So in the 60s, uh, you know, if you were a lady with one of those uh, crazy hairdos, this is what you were doing. You're burning your hands and your head with these hot rollers. <laughs> Cause that's just how it was back in the day. Seals up. Like I said, it has a really nice color. I kind of like the color tones of this beige with this light blue. It looks really nice. It's very vintage looking by the writing and just the case is very cool. So again, uh, this was uh, in the garage. I was able to pick this up for uh, $2. And based on some of the research I've done, uh, these same sets with the same rollers, the U-clips, everything, uh, retails for around $30 at some of these vintage shops. So yeah, so that was all the, uh, those were all the goodies that we got from the estate sale. Again, all the stuff that you just seen in the video, uh, that came out to a grand total of $27. So it was a really good deal. Again, this was our first estate sale video. I'll be making more of these videos in the future. Um, this weekend, I did the estate sale on Friday. We went to the swap meet on Saturday and then did thrift stores Sunday and also today. 
Um, so I have two more videos because I have a bunch of more stuff that I got this weekend. So this is video number one. Stay tuned for video number two and three, which will be the swap meet uh, finds video and the thrift store finds video. So I got some really cool stuff um, at both of those locations. So again, uh, thanks for tuning in. Any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Any comments, leave them down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Also, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, by subscribing to the channel, you'll get notified anytime any of our videos come out. And that's also how we are able to monetize. So if, you're, if you help us out by subscribing and watching our videos, give us likes, give us comments. Everyone is happy. Everyone is doing good. All right. So again, thanks for tuning in guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Until then, see ya.